Hi guys! Now it's so nice to be with you for these few minutes today. This is our lovely Kim Corpady, our wonderful child facilitator at the Sunrise Program. And this is Kate, our amazing teacher. And we are filming from the Autism Treatment Center for America in Sheffield, Massachusetts. And we would like to introduce two other people to you today. We have Billy the Beebs and Hello. Lucy the Ladybug. They say hello. Hi. Hi. Now, we just got these in at the Autism Treatment Center for America and we are very excited about <laughs> them. And we decided to share these with you because they are amazing, awesome and wonderful toys that can create so much amazing and wonderful social interaction for you to play with your children. Now, all it is is a glove with a bee on the top. And a ladybug. Yes. Now, the um, obviously here at the Autism Treatment Center of America, we really believe that it's not about getting your children to play with a toy, but it's about how can we use a toy to really encourage our children to want to look at us and play with us <laughs> and laugh with us and have so much fun with us. So we wanted to share these with you because they're so awesome in order to do that. And they are from Barefoot Books. So if you want to go out and get some, go ahead and Google that for yourself. So here are some ideas that you can play. Now, obviously, because you have all the fingers available, <laughs> they're really great tools. <laughs> so they add a great variation for... Um, for your child to learn about peripheral variations in the tickle game, mm -hmm. to have put two words together because do you want the bee to tickle you or do you like Lucy the ladybug to tickle you? So longer sentences and make the game more interesting mm -hmm. and more helpful in terms of acquisition of skills. Yes, and eye contact too. So bringing these to your eyes mm -hmm. and really mm -hmm. encouraging your children to look at you as well as using them for anticipation. Mm -hmm. They're, they're just so inviting and fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, now other things that you, other games that you could play with these is you could have a race across the floor. Mm -hmm. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> also, what you could do is you could create obstacle courses for your bees and your ladybugs. Oh yes, they can have. Mountains to climb, dun, 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 things to jump over, and you could time each other. How long does the bee take to go <laughs> the highest mountain? Slide down and jump! <laughs> <laughs> Which would be really fun. And obviously, they can have conversations together. Yeah. Hey there, Lucy, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. I've had such a great day. The sun is shining. It's so pretty out. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I. I drank the pollen of 50 flowers today. Whoa! Oh, yeah, <laughs> what did you do? Oh, well, I spread my wings and flew over to the trees and, and, and watched some people. They were really funny. Oh, <laughs> were they laughing? Yes. Yeah, did you notice that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Also, what you can do is you can introduce new foods. Over the food and just pull up a lovely carrot. <laughs> also, you can introduce new activities. You can make writing. Lucy, the uh, ladybug, can write for you. Yes, and the point is, is that she's so interesting and inviting to look at that your child's really going to be encouraged to do this too. So invite them to put them on their hands. Yes. So, anyway, it's. Bye from Billy. And bye from Lucy. Until next time. Bye. I think we're